Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode of Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to discuss the bicipital groove. The bicipital groove is located in the anterior proximal humerus. It is an important structure and an important landmark for upper body function. The bicipital groove is an anatomical landmark between the greater and lesser tuberosities of the humerus. It serves as a critical location for proximal bicep stability. Soft tissue components of the groove create a tendoligamentous sling to support the long head of the bicep tendon. Components include portions of the subscapularis muscle, the supraspinatus muscle, the coracohumeral ligament, often abbreviated to the CHL, and the superior glenoral humeral ligament, often abbreviated to the SGHL. The long head of the bicep tendon takes a 30 degree turn as it heads towards the supraglenoid tubercle, relying on the integrity of the enveloping soft tissue sling system. The subscapularis has superficial and deep fibers that envelop the groove, creating a roof and floor. These fibers join together with the supraspinatus and superior glenoid ligament, coracal humeral ligament complex and attach at the lesser tuberosity to create the proximal and medial aspect of the pulley system with soft tissue extensions serving to further envelope the long head of the bicep tendon in the bicipital groove. The coracohumeral ligament is a dense fibrous structure connecting the base of the coracoid process to the greater and lesser tuberosities. The superior glenohumeral ligament reinforces the complex at the proximal exit point. It travels from the superior labrum to the lesser tuberosity, becoming confluent with the soft tissue sling as it takes on a U-shaped configuration. 